Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Excel Video 114. I'm Nate Moore. I'm going to spend a little more time with sparklines today. We've gone through some um, examples. There are a few things I want to make sure that we, uh, we're clear on before we leave sparklines. So what I'm going to do is I have here for a uh, four month range for my six locations, all I want to know is are my patient, my new patients going up or down over the course of months, these four months, and do I have a a positive trend, a negative trend, do I have a problem, what's going on? So I'm going to do a quick spark line to do that. So what I'm going to do is highlight this area where I want my spark lines to go. I'm going to insert spark lines. Let's do lines first. The data range. See, we can do this whole thing. And with this, watch um, in the location range F4 to F9. And there we go. It's uh, in that quick, I, I can tell I'm going from 7 to 5, back to negative 1 to 4. It's a little bit hard to see with some of this. So what I want to spend some time on today is with this, yeah, let's make this just a little bit bigger too. With this spark line, are there some things we can do to make these trends easier to understand? And I want to make sure we're clear on this show area here with these markers. What we can do is we can show, let's say we want to show the high point. And you can see it's really kind of small, so we'll go over here and we'll change the marker color for the high point and we're going to make it this green color like that and maybe make that a little easier to see and then let's do the low point and when we come over here and pick off the low point we'll do maybe this bright red color and so it's easy to see high low low high and notice if you were to have let's cheat here and make this one negative five as well if you have two low points Excel is going to highlight both of these. See, both of these are negative five, so it's going to highlight both of these in my spark line as it goes up. If we come back over here to the design menu, we well, let's turn low point off and turn on all the negative, and we can control what the the uh, high and the low. Let's do the negative points up here, um, just to make it easy to see. Let's make them orange, shall we? Um, that wasn't very easy to see. Let's make them um, yellow. So again, these are kind of hard to see too. But um, if I make these yellow, I can tell everything that's negative. Or you can say, well, Nate, you know what, Nate? I want to make them all, uh, all of them red like I had before. You can do that, too. And notice that because these, let me click inside. See how this, my spark lines are all uh, grouped. I could make all these the same height, too, I suppose, too. Let's just make this one, one bigger so we can see it a little better. Notice how when I set these up, these are all in a group, so every time I change one of these spark lines, I'm changing all of them. If I didn't want that, I could always ungroup. But it's easy once you get them right to do that. You can highlight the first point and the last point in a series. And what this markers thing will do is it will turn everything on. So it's harder to see. Let's go back to this one. Let's make this uh, three just for general principles. What we can do is by turning markers on now, it'll put a little point marker at every point. Let's come back over here. You turn these on and off so you can see the difference. And you can easily turn things on and off and capture these uh, high and low points as we go through it. Right now, if and if you look at this, the spark line show area, you can see I'm capturing high points and negative, but I'm not capturing the low points. So this one here, let's make this a little bigger to focus on it, doesn't have any red because there are no negative numbers and we're not highlighting the low point. If we did the low point, it would pick off that lowest one. If we only show negative, it's not going to show anything in red because I don't have any negative, I don't have any decreases in my number of patients. So that's kind of what I wanted to make sure we were clear on is we can turn markers on and off, first point and last point on and off, and we can control what each of those look like um, with these theme colors, and you can pick as many colors as you want over here. If you come over here, you can do the same kind of thing with column. And what we're looking at here is, uh, notice the markers goes off because that doesn't mean anything in a column chart. But we can turn the negative points off. We can turn the high point off. And that's what happens when we go high. That's what happens when we go low. And the negative is also red. And you can say, well, no, I want negative points here to be kind of this orange thing. And it'll make it like that, too. So there are some ideas on spark lines. Some ways to, um, once they're grouped, change everything at once and make these show things work. Last thing I want to show you is when you're done with this, I'm hitting delete, I'm hitting backspace, they won't go away. 
what back let, let's come here if I type hello there underneath the spark line and I do delete it's going to get rid of the text but the spark lines are on a different level how do I get rid of them just um, let me get out and get back in so you can see I'm in Sparkline, Sparkline Tools Design. If I do clear, I can clear selected or clear selected Sparkline groups. We're just going to clear the whole thing and that will get rid of my Sparklines or I can undo to put them back. That's what I wanted to show you on Sparklines. We spent several videos on it. I think they're a clever way to do a bunch of information that I think you'll find helpful. Hope that was helpful for you. Stay tuned. Next time we're going to get a little more fancy. Thanks for watching.